Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing you the vision video. What I guess today is your May 5th, 2017 vendor restock video. We're going to go over anything that is worth buying. I'm going to show you guys in today's video. So if you guys do enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos. Let's get right into this. Starting off, the first thing you guys want to visit is the special blueprints vendor. Now what this guy's actually selling is a classic M44 blueprint marksman rifle. If you guys didn't purchase this blueprint last week, I would recommend buying it 100% because you can pretty much get a god roll sniper rifle. And the M44, although it's not the best, in my opinion, the M700 is a bit better, like I said, in my opinion. Some people may argue with that, but the M44 is still a great, great marksman rifle. Up next, we make our way to the special equipment vendor. The first thing you guys want to check out is this Liberator. This Liberator is actually really, really good. I might have to buy this one. I already have like three or four Liberators, but I just want to buy this one uh, just to kind of have it. So what this one actually comes with is 18% enemy armor damage, which is on the low side. I wish it was a little bit higher, but you know, that is alright if you're using it for uh, last stand, it is going to get normalized. For the damage, it comes with 20.7k, which keep in mind is going to be a bit different since my firearms uh, might be different than yours. And for the talents, it actually comes with deadly, focused, and responsive. So this is pretty much a god roll liberator in my opinion. The only thing you have to re-roll is focus. Try to get something like competent if you have enough electronics. If you don't, get something like unforgiving and this will be a god roll weapon you could use for PvP or PvE. Moving a couple spots down, we have the classic AK-47. Now this is one of the most underrated weapons for PvP. I made a video on this quite a while, and a lot of people said once they tried it out, they really really liked it. So I would recommend you guys using this weapon and just giving it a shot. Um, like I said, although it's not as popular as the LVOAC, uh, the Lightweight M4, anything like that, this weapon is still a good assault rifle. So what it actually comes with is sustained, deadly, and competent. You have competent in the free talent, so you don't have to worry about your requirements on your gear or your build. The one thing I would recommend is rerolling sustained, get something like unforgiving, get something like responsive, and this classic AK-47 will be very, very good. As you guys can see, the base damage is 26.6k, which is insane. Like, if you include Savage Gloves with Assault Rifle damage, you're going to be doing around 30,000 damage per crit. The final thing that is worth looking at in the special equipment vendor is this magazine. Although it doesn't have critical hit chance, which you normally would want critical hit chance, although some people like rate of fire, if you do, this magazine is for you. What it comes with is 110% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 4.80% rate of fire. So as I said, if you are a fan of rate of fire attributes on your magazine, this purchase is for you. Up next, we make our way to the Advanced Weapon Venture. Now, what this guy's actually selling is a MP5 ST. This one is actually pretty good. What it comes with is Brutal, Commanding, and Deadly. So, Brutal isn't really the best thing you want, but it's still a decent pickup. If you reroll Commanding, get something like Responsive, Unforgiving, um, even get something like Competent if you have enough electronics, this weapon will be really nice. The final thing you guys want to check out in this vendor is this Omega Rifle Suppressor. Now, if you guys don't have this one, it is a must-buy. What it comes with is 18% headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.50% critical hit chance. Now, although you cannot put this suppressor on some machine guns like your MP5 or your MP7, it's still a really good pickup if you are looking uh, for something that does just pretty much a lot of damage. Even if you're looking uh, for a marksman rifle suppressor, this is a great pickup. So like I said, if you are missing one or if you need one, it is located in the advanced weapon vendor. Next up, we make our way to the gear vendor, still in the base of operations. This guy's actually selling a decent tenacious mask. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is maybe re-rolling the major attributes. Try to get something else like skill power if you want. All resistance isn't that bad. Uh, that's what I use on my tenacious mask. But a lot of people might want something else. So like I said, you can re-roll this because the stamina roll on it is very, very high. It's 1260. Uh, so you're pretty much 12 away from being a max roll. Also for the major attribute, it does come with 15% blind slash death resistance, which is really useful as well. This week, the only safe house that is worth looking at on this map is the South Pole safe house. What this guy is actually selling is a mod, and it's actually really decent if you are making a skill power build. It comes with 229 electronics and 3159 skill power. So if you are looking for, a, you know, a skill power build, or if you're looking to increase your heals or your abilities, I would recommend picking this up 100%. Up next, we make our way to the safe house in DZ02. Now, this DZ02 safe house probably has the best things for sale this week. The first thing you guys want to check out is this specialized backpack. What it comes with is 1,268 firearms, which is really, really nice. Like, you don't have to touch that at all, especially if you're going for a firearms build. It also comes with 12,740 health, and in my opinion, if you want to reroll that, 
go ahead but if you are using this for last stand or uh, you know pvp you don't really have to reroll it you could just keep it how it is and for the major attribute it does come with 15 percent disrupt resistance which is really good as well uh, for pvp or pve so this is a must pick up even if you have a decent specialized backpack just pick this one up if you're going for a like i said a firearms build or you just might need it in the future it doesn't really hurt to buy it and keep it in your stash the last item you guys have to check out is this nimble holster this nimble holster is probably the best one i have seen in a very very long time what it comes with is 1252 firearms 1251 stamina and 1266 electronics so overall this is probably like i said the best nimble holster i have seen in a very very long time for the major attribute, it does come with 3.50% critical hit chance, which I would recommend rerolling to health, and this will be a god roll nimble holster. So once again, I would really recommend buying that specialized backpack and this nimble holster. If you guys are looking for it, it is located in the ZO2 safe house right here on your map. Anyways, that pretty much concludes the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this or found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next 